Who is going to be your trustee? I get this question a lot, and I think that this is one of the most underrated issues to discuss. So I spend a lot of time talking about who the trustee is going to be when I have conversations with my clients. In my opinion, so much stuff flows from the who. Who is the person at the top? In my experience, you know, things that could be a real challenge, if we have a good, honest trustee, things have a way of smoothing themselves out. And then things that should be really easy, if we have a difficult person as a trustee, everything becomes a mountain to climb. So I really think you should spend a lot of time thinking about the person that you want to nominate as a trustee. Now, a lot of times people say, well, it's just in the document. They're just going to follow the instructions in the document. No, your document can't think of everything. There are so many shades of gray. For example, when are we going to sell your house? Do you put new carpet and paint in or not? You know, when do you file a tax return? Who do you use as a financial advisor? If you're living in a facility, you know, how do we invest your money? You know, who's the, the doctor that you're going to have? All of these different decisions. Think of everything that you do every day financially about your life. That person is oftentimes charged with making those very same day-to-day -day decisions extremely important role and the person has a lot to do with how things are carried out and the tone of the entire administration of the trust. The other thing I really want you to think about is the personality. It's really wonderful if someone's a financial advisor or they have a background in accounting or their husband or wife has some sort of specialized background that is useful. But the personality of the person is extremely important and should not be underrated. Is this person a uniter rather than a divider? Do they have an axe to grind? Are they going to take this information and lord it over everyone else? Or are they going to share and be a little bit more democratic in how they administer things? Um, do they ask good questions? Do they have that good spidey sense about the professional advisors, the lawyers, the accountants, the financial people that they surround themselves with? Can they file things and do things on time? Um, those are the kind of things that you are looking for in a trustee in addition to them actually having the time and the inclination to take this task on. It is such an honor to be um, nominated as the trustee, but after about 10 minutes, the hard work begins and that's where the rubber meets the road. So I hope you found this insight useful and helpful. Thank you so much for watching.